Hello, everybody. Well, I know everybody kept asking for it. They said they really see another Mac on the table. We've been working on a lot of Hus Varners and this and that and the other and stuff like that, but we're getting through it. <laughs> so, this right here is Justin Penders. I think he sent it back in January. I ain't exactly sure. I've got more coming for everybody who's sent their saws and they've, they've been here for a while. I'm banging on them, trying to get them knocked out in between some of the other stuff. I haven't filmed all of them. But we're, uh, we're working on it. So just be patient. We're getting it done. I've got all kinds of stuff going on. Yeah, I know everybody else does too. We're just trying to get the majority of everything done just as fast as I can get it done. Trying to rifle through this stuff and get it done. Some of it takes a good little while. Some of it's real. The Max is one of them things that sometimes you run across a problem with one, which we did have, and after that, it's just one of them things that's a little annoying. Yeah, just drop the drain floor. I ain't exactly sure what that is. We'll just have to look and see. We got a package came in. Oh, mercy. Put that in the hole. I'm trying to start this back in there so I keep these separate. Can't hold it. My arthritis is just on fire. The last two days it's just been off. Set that up there in the box. It came in. I try to set some of the parts back in the box that came in because it has the person's name on it. I ain't exactly sure what's in here. Can't show that on there right now. That's actually for somebody, and they might be watching. And I don't want them to see it. So. It's nothing. It ain't nothing super or anything like that. But it's what they wanted, so it's what they got it. We're getting close to Christmas now, so we're trying to get some gifts bought up for people. Got to try to find a family to adopt for Christmas so we can uh, get that going. We're going to try to adopt a, a family for Christmas that has a couple of kids, one or two, and try to get them some presents to give them a good Christmas. We talked about it on the live feed. I don't know whether I got enough energy to break that boat loose. My arthritis is killing me. I ain't even kidding. I can't even turn the boat. I can't. I can't even turn it. And I think I broke the last screwdriver bit me impact screwdriver. That one might do it. For those of y'all that don't know, 
This is the impact screwdriver. Put it in there, you twist it, and you, and you smack it. There's a set of dogs in there that makes the bit twist when you hit it with a hammer, so it puts downward force and twisting force on it at the same time. Well, it just makes them screw out of there easier. All right, I'll pull you back down. I'm just gonna set this there. <coughs> We just going to get her tore down for now. See how that goes and see what she looks like on the inside. What kind of seals and stuff might need to be put in it. Some gasket seals. This and that and the other. Trying to get all these screws loose. I can get them all out. I need to get my straight screwdriver that fits in my driver. Of course, there is one I guess I could put in there. It'd probably just destroy the screws, though. So, we'll just keep doing it like this. Yeah. All I'm doing is taking the screws out, so it's not like it's anything. It's clean on the inside. I'm impressed. They're usually not very clean. They're usually pretty dirty. I like it when they are clean, though. It makes cleaning it up a lot easier on me. One of the reasons why I do this is if you've worked on one of these mics, it comes with oil in it. And there's a bucket right here in the floor for most of y'all that know. She's got some dirt in her. Now, I hang it off the edge of the table there. And see, I rinse it off and it falls right out the front and goes right in the bucket. It's down here along the edge of the table. And there's some sawdust in there. And that keeps me from making such a big mess on everything else. Because I don't like messes. Usually after that, then we'll take stuff some rag up in here. That helps absorb all the rest of it. Tries to keep the majority of that junk off the table. Some you do, some you don't. Right up here in the very front, there's a there's a socket head cap screw, more commonly known as an Allen bolt. I don't remember. I think it's three sixteenths or seven thirty-six. It's a five thirty seconds. And it screws up in the bottom of the gas tank. Helps hold your tank to your oil cup. A lot of times if you take the 
if you take the cover off, there's a an Allen bolt. Sometimes it's a five sixteenths, but most times it's Allen. If you take it off and there's one in there, that's where it goes. That's where it goes. That looks like oil's been rubbing the flywheel on this thing. That's what it looks like. Five thirty second. Then when you get done with Allen Ranch, put it back in the hole. That way it's there next time. <laughs> oh mercy. Unhook the wire. This this ground wire on the coil, it has a stack of washers on it. So there's a washer, and the wire, and two more washers. So you got your star washer, a flat washer, and it goes through the wire, then another flat washer goes on it. And that keeps it from twisting the wire. So, uh, so you don't kill the wire whenever you're uh, tightening it up. So if you're trying to tighten your coil wire, you ground wire on your coil, and it's wanting to twist, your washers ain't in the right place. There she is. Now, now, this thing's got good compression. I mean, good compression. It's hard to make a good runner, Justin. Got one of the no leak fuel lines on it from that feller on the uh, eBay. He sells these Tigon with a glue in bushing, and they work. I've actually got one in my Super Pro 125. It looks good. I might have to call you Justin or message me whenever you see this if I don't contact you first because I'm not sure about whether we're supposed to reseal the gas tank or whether you reseal the gas tank and need to put the seals up in there which I do not have. I usually glue them. Come on, get on there. Get on there. Now these have washers underneath them. If they don't have the washers on them, the, usually uh, you got another... Uh, not all of them had them, some of the older saws didn't, but most of them do. So if you don't have any washers under there, you either got an older saw or it fell off when somebody else had it apart. Now getting this one, but I don't think this one's ever been apart because all the tabs are still being up like they're supposed to be. And everything looks to be in order. the handle. That's the way it goes. There's a washer and then a little tab that holds it. Now why it's that way? 
I don't really know. But that's the way it is. It's actually pretty clean under here. It's pretty clean. I've seen them far dirtier than this, I can promise you that. But, I mean, you know, all of it's probably going to wind up in the cooker. Because, as y'all know, I don't like working on dirty saws. There's a grommet for the plug wire, it broke. This looks good in it. It's got loads of compression. So, it's in pretty good shape. Feels like it anyway. We're just gonna get her tore down. Get her tore down. That'll be enough for this video. Yep. Get her tore apart. Then on to the porting and the replacement of whatever we need to replace. I've had some people asking for piston replacement techniques and stuff like that. I do have a video already on the channel about replacing the Piston. There we go. Looks pretty good. It's not the dirtiest I've ever seen by no means. It's actually one of the cleaner ones. So Some rubber back up on there. All right. Have a little look. I'll throw that one in the floor. Throw that one in the floor. Yeah, I'm trying to talk loud enough. I got the little heater running over here. It kind of makes a racket. And I don't know how well y'all can hear me. I'm trying to keep. Look at the drag marks on the flywheel, though, Sam. That seal, it has a little bit of resistance, but it ain't much. Now that seal right there feels good. Well, piston looks good. We'll check them rings out, check the gap on them and everything and see how they are. If they need replacing, we'll replace them. So, uh, there it is. That's what she looks like torn down. There is a little bit of, there's just a little bit of chrome flaking around the intake port. Right on the edge, it's not real bad. So, uh, we'll get her cleaned up, get her ported, some seals changed, get it put back together, and uh, get a video made.
Y'all have a good day. Bell Hopper out.